Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I have a fantastic rack. I have the blank and I have bingos. Well, certainly a bingo. I have ebonize. Now, is there any point in looking for something better? Well, I don't think so. And that's partly driven by doubts as to whether there is a better play. And this isn't super dangerous because although Ebonize has hooks, they're in column 14 rather than column 15. So Ebonize for 100. Not great, but not terrible either. I have the makings of a bonus with A, E, I and N. Just K and the two Ys, which scupper my prospects this turn. Although I'm not a million miles away from Vary Nike. I think I'm going to struggle to get rid of both Ys and the K, but I should be able to get rid of two of them. And I don't have a D or S for going on the end of Ebonize. Now yeah, that's pretty good because both K and Y go above in. And I need to take out this spot because, well, I was going to say J and Z can go there, but of course Z has already been played. Just wondering if I should go or can go one square further to obstruct column 14. But that would damage the rack leave. So I am going with this. Pretty good. Close to a bingo. Not sure I have one. K and U, I think, prevent me from having a seven on this rack. And I'm not seeing any eights either. Not too many floaters to consider at the moment. Just those in Ebonize. Interesting. My opponent opens a tr triple word square. However, what I was looking at was Kami as a hook. That's going to be quite good value. But can I get rid of the U as well? Yin takes an A in front. So do I have any A, K words here? I have Kuna in row H. 33, keeping EIR, that's not bad, quite tempting, that's 33, yeah, I and mean, I couldn't see a way of getting rid of K and U at the above Ami, so I'm going with this, I have Bertha and Rebirth. Still no D or S for Ebonize. Is there anywhere for my bingos? Yin takes an A and a P in front. Well, I have neither. What about row J? No, not seeing anything there. How about the floaters? Well, the K doesn't look good. How about the U? No. Wow, so close. Liney takes a B, but Bertha and Rebirth. The B's too far to the left. Gosh, this is always frustrating when you have a have a bingo and it doesn't play. But I'm just not seeing anywhere for this one. Ebonizer, not good. What about the L or I as a floater? Berthia, not good. So, no, I'm not seeing anything. So, how to sort the rack out? Well, gosh, this is going to trash the rack, but I think the score might just about justify it. 40 points, it does. I am going with this. Wow, pretty good pickup having retained two R's. Not seeing a seven, but there could easily be an eight. I would have Rio virus and Ouvriers through a V. 
I do now have a hook for Ebonize. What else do I have? I'm not sure if Kuna takes an S. It's possible it doesn't. L and I don't look like good floaters. Now, am I sure I don't have a seven with this rack? If I do, it definitely plays. No. So what about the floaters in Zybeth? Wow, fantastic bingo for opponent. Gosh, 70 points. Through a floating E. Okay, well, we'll see later if he had any alternative bingos. Now, do I really not have anything? I guess it's the U, which is proving problematic. Can't see anything with the H. Zybeth does take an S. So... Is there anywhere to play off UR or OUR? Well, I've got hour, but I think that's too, too open. Gosh, could easily be a bingo here. Not seeing anything around Ami. What about down through this O? Well, I can do this. ROS, not a bad rack leaf, certainly goes well with the floating I and E, and I'm stopping opponent from scoring in this spot. And although I'm taking out the Zybeth S hook, the Ebonize one remains available. Not so good. Onto an H, I would have Feek. And I've blocked that. I would have had Feeks. Gosh. Okay, through an A, I would have Fakir. No A available. I do have the I, so I've got Chi and Li in column 13. No N on my rack, although I do have Chin in column 3. So priority is to burn the Q. Wow. Opponent bingos off both floating E's that I provide. Ouch. Okay. And opponent's provided a nice Q spot. And with a U, I could get it to play twice. Is this the play? Chi for 31. Rackley, pretty good. Can I score more with Chi somewhere? 26 in column 13. I think I will go with this. Well, this is 31. And this is 53. I am going with this. Not bad. I think crofted is good. And if it is, column 14, crofted and ebonized. But will that remain available? Could easily be blocked. But opponent may be drawn to this triple letter square above the I. I would have defector through an E, I think. Not seeing anything through the L or the I. How about the K and U? Defrock, but not a bingo. Floating R, not helpful. And my F doesn't go above the I, so if Crofted is blocked, I'm going to score a lot less. But it's not a bad rack. And I should be able to play off the F in a number of places. A pen and playing reasonably quickly. Fantastic! Where's he played? Al down here. He was tempted by that triple letter square. And I have crofted for 97. Bang! Fantastic. And I have a 150 point lead.
despite gifting opponent those two two bingos. Now, I haven't got a great rack, but I have scoring tiles, so from now on in, it's a push to keep scoring and outrun my opponent. Crofted's nice because the C only takes an H to the right, so normally column 14 bingos offer opponents triple word squares, but in this case, not so. Good score by opponent, however. So, what I want to do is turn over tiles and race for the finish line. And take out bingo lanes if I can, but there aren't many bingo lanes on this board. I'm thinking about playing rap. Still one U to come. Is there a longer word? Well, only five letter words in row M. I have arrow on my rack. I guess the K and the U and the N are all available floaters, but not the most useful. Yin takes a P, but any play in row E is going to open bingo lane, so I'm not keen on that. I keep coming back to wrap and warp. Yeah, only two O's and a U to come, so this isn't too bad, and 25 points is a decent score. Well, I... I dodge the U, but do pick up one of the O's. However, look at this. I draw the J and the X, and that is ideal for somebody who's looking to keep scoring 20-odd points. And I could get rid of both of these scoring tiles with Je, J-E-U-X. But I'm not seeing anywhere for that. Jaw is good. So I could play J-O-R. Doesn't feel that I'm getting maximum value for a scoring tile. But it is ticking over the 20 point mark. J-A is good, so 31 points and a decent rack leave. This is quite tempting. 11 minutes on my clock. Yeah, and this gives very little away. I am going with this. And I have the X for score. Still 15 tiles to come, including a blank. But I think I can survive one bingo from opponent. Close to Neuraxon. But not close enough. XU is good. So I've got zoo and zoo. That would take out every single floater here. Still the slight danger of Kuna's, but I don't think Kuna does take an S. Yeah, zoo and zoo is, is quite nice. Opponent wouldn't be able to score very much off the X, if anything. XI is good, so I, ha I could play EX in column 11, but that takes front hooks. And with the blank still to come, I can't, for example, play Rex on the basis that all the P's have gone. Opponent taking a while with this play. He's played his other moves fairly quickly. Now, last go, I've just noticed I could have played Je through the U of Kuna for 34 points, so very similar score to J.O. Great Sad does not take a front hook, but opponent is setting up a bingo lane in row B. But that's okay, it will be face value, it will be opening up row A. So, let me force opponent into that spot by playing zoo here just checking to see if I have any plays in column 2 which gets the X tripled 
I don't think I do. Any better spots for the axe? No, not that I can see. Well, that's not a, not a terrible pickup. I'm not swamped with vowels, and the V is the highest scoring tile on my rack. Great, just six points for opponent. Fantastic. So, quite tempted to play Vogs. Am I sure I don't have a bingo here through an I? I would have Virogene. Engrove, not good. So I have over as a prefix with G-E-N. Not seeing anything. Yeah, looking at the remaining tiles, plenty of bingo potential. And V takes absolutely nothing either side. So this, although it's only 12 points, is complete strangulation. And I lead by 180 points. Opponent may play down through column 8, in which case he'd be creating two spots for bingos, which I wouldn't be able to block. Now, well, I have Generate, Renegade, Teenager. None of them have, none of them work with this A. Yuva takes an E. Just wondering about Greeton. I think it's Grutton. Is there a seven here? Let me just uh, check this since we're void challenge. I'm very dubious about it. It's not good. So, four tiles left. The U, seriously, not particularly dangerous. I do want to leave one in the bag. So, Jen takes out bingo lanes apart from bingos which hook G which is just I, O, and U, so I think G slightly better in terms of rack leave. Yeah, I'm going with this. And opponent has got a fantastic rack. Can he find himself a bingo? He could have a bingo ending O-U-S, which would be a good spot. And I've also set up a bingo, gosh, a seven-letter lane for bingos with O or A in fourth place in column six. So that was a, a little untidy. Maybe there were other options than G. Slightly slack play when you're this far ahead. And I don't have either of... I don't have the ability to take out that danger, I don't think. I guess I could play Neb and the Bell. But will I have the chance? Twelve minutes on opponent's clock. He's really slowed down the last few moves. My score approaching 500. It hasn't felt like a particularly blockbuster game, but I suspect it's because a couple of my bingos, or my only two bingos in fact, scored nearly 100 points each, ebonised and crofted. Quite often you can score 60 or 70 for a bingo, so if you can get 100, it's almost like a bingo and a half. Yeah, a pennant does play off one tile. So I, I can see what he's got. Does he have anything with A or O in fourth spot? Well, who cares? Because I can play Neb for 16, and that takes out that danger. 
He could have a seven ending I or O. But I'm not seeing it. Now, can I go out with R E double T? Well, it's a tight board. My priority is to take out this bingo lane. There are no scoring tiles left, so this E underneath a triple word score isn't gifting a, a ton of points. And I do actually have an out. I have Tret in row F. But that is the only one. Now, does opponent... Well, opponent's blocked OUS ending bingos with his D. Do I have a second spot or a second out? I have utter with the U, but that doesn't fit. Nothing on to UN. What about through the K or beginning with the K? Not seeing anything. Great. Opponent leaves alone my tracked spot. So... Tret for 15. And the final score, 335 for my opponent, 521 for me, a winning margin of 186 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Always have good battles with this particular opponent. Now, I got off to just a ridiculously good start. 100 points on the board. Really discouraging to be on the receiving end of it, of that. But great to be the, the ad administer. Now, opponent's rack plays him. Zinky for 42. That's nice. Not a great rack leave. So I play yay for 36. Gosh, quite a few... Higher scoring options, not massively higher scoring. And I think my rack leave is certainly the best on offer here. Not a great rack for opponent, plays well. And I play Kuna, which isn't on this list, and it's because all of these top plays are utilising the Kami hook. Well, I sacrifice 10 points. This is a really hot spot if you have a K, but not if you, not massively so if you don't. So I was taking out a spot which was much more valuable for opponent. Opponent plays Liney. Well, this is my birther and rebirth rack, but no bingos playable. And I play Zybeth for 40, which I like. Except it's just what opponent needs for a bingo. Did he have an alternative? Well, he did through the T, Positron and Sorption. But no, apart from the floaters I provided, he did not have a bingo. My rack, no bingo here. I play Auri for 18, but N10. Wow, Rosia and Zybeths. That is a big score. Yep, so that would have been better. And may not have gifted opponent a bingo but he does have a seven on his rack so well but rosier yeah he could have played minorca above the r so he bingos and my lead shrinks to just 16 points n10 cheese that was my play Opponent plays Al, and this really moved me to victory, so Crofted for 97 gave me a 150-point lead, and tight board, and tiles are running out. No bingo for opponent, plays Feet. And now I am just trying to get 20 to 30 points and heading for the finishing line. But I didn't do it with warp and wrap at G4. Wow, warp, war and pal. That would have been nice. 30, 29 points. I did it down here for fewer. 
opponent has the blank, plays Ged. Now this is the je spot I spotted too late. Joe, J2. Joe and or, that's nice. So I played Joe for 31, which actually is fine. Vowels go well with the X. No bingo for opponent, plays Sad. And what do I do? I play Zoo for 22. Gosh, G1 Oxen, because of OK. OK, that would have been a better play. Oxen does not take an S, and that would have been a lot more points. Opponent's Rack plays Vor. And now the game is won. I play Vogs to take out a bingo lane, and opponent would have had a bingo, I think. Doesn't have one now, plays Yuva. And there are only four tiles in the bag, so I wanted to leave one in the bag. So I played G, probably not best. <gasps> ah, but there are. Ah, this is opponent's rack. Wow. Look at that. Opponent either doesn't spot the front hooks for G or chooses not to and plays off one tile intending to to bingo when the bag is empty but that's a jolly risky policy since I can I can take out that that danger so it may have been an oversight by opponent maybe he couldn't believe that I'd be so stupid as to open up a bingo lane anyway he plays ad I play neb to take out column six and finally no bingo available opponent plays josh and there is the solitary out. So what a game. Over 500 points and nearly 200 points of spread. So absolutely thumping victory and just great fun and a fabulous start to the game with Ebonized. So many thanks to my opponent for a great battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.